Hey, thanks for coming to the Twisted Leaf Rod Shop YouTube channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing a product review on this DeWalt 14 inch chop saw. Stick around. All right, so what we got here is a DeWalt 14 inch metal chop saw. The base adjusts zero degrees, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. See the specs there, it is a 15 amp saw, one inch arbor, double insulated. Part number there, D28715. So as you can see from the saw itself, my workbench, I do use this quite a bit. Um, like I said, I use these Harbor Freight 14 inch stud cutter blades. I've put maybe 20, 25, 30 of them through this, blade, through this saw already. I use it quite a bit. Um, a lot of what I cut is uh, angle iron like that, or like a uh, two by two angle iron, and it works really well for that. Uh, things I like the most about this saw is quick change blade. All you gotta do is get this lock, hold that up. Twist that off of there, no, no tools needed. You can just throw it right in. Pretty easy to change blades in. Blades from Harbor Freight are relatively cheap, so I like to use those. And then put it back in, just reverse process. No tools needed, can be done very quickly. It's probably one of my favorite features of this saw. Another feature of the saw that I like, it's got this nice big spring right here. So when you go down, all the way down and back up, it helps you come up. Another feature that I really like is this handle right here. It helps to adjust the fence. A lot of the uh, saws that you get will have, you know, two bolts here that you have to undo. For this one, you just give this one a good twist, put it to the angle you want. I cut 45s quite a bit, and then just push back down on that, and you're good to go. So that makes it really easy to be able to change, you know, angles in between wherever you need there. And then if you want to go back to zero, just set her there, push that guy down, and you're back to zero. One of the other great features of this particular saw and many others like it is this little guy right here. So if I've got a piece, we'll say like this two by two angle iron, put it in there and I wanna cut it right there and I don't want it to move, right? So instead of having to twist this thing all the way in for days, with this guy in this position, you can just slide it forward and then you lock it down and then you tighten it. What that's really helpful for is if I've cut, if I'm cutting a bunch of these or even if I'm just cutting one, but I wanna be able to remove it quickly, I can just loosen it off a couple turns here and not have to, like I said, unscrew it all the way. You just pick this little guy up, slide the whole thing back, and then your piece comes right out after you're done cutting it. So that right there is one of one of the best features. I like a lot about this saw, but that's probably my one of my top features of, aside from the quick change blade. As you can see here, I have the saw in the folded up mode, whatever you want to call it. This would be the how you would carry it. This is how I carry it. It's got a nice carrying handle right here. It's nice and sturdy. It's not, you know, it's got those in it, but it's not hollow other than that. And it's got a little locking pin right there. And so to unlock it, you just push down, pull that out, and then the saw goes all the way back up, just like this. So you'd push down and then push the pin back in. There you go. And then you got a nice sturdy carrying handle right there. And this is the handle to actually use the saw. And it's got a nice big trigger on it. You know, if you're holding it like this, it's very easy to get with those two hands. If you're using it the other way around, obviously it's very easy to get right there as well. And it's a nice big switch, easy to let go of, doesn't stick or anything like that. So I like that. Now I mentioned that this is easy to adjust with this right here. And it is, but if for any reason you ever need to remove these two screws, they put the Allen wrench for it right here, which is really nice. It's right there. It's got a nice little rubber grommet. It's not going to go anywhere. I've used this saw, like I said, for over a year now um, on the bench, on the floor, on other things, and this has never come out. It's in there very securely. You're not going to lose that. So that's a very good feature of this saw. The base itself has these rubber feet on it. So if you're on a surface like this or like on concrete or any other surface, really, these rubber feet will keep it from moving around. That way, when you're cutting stuff, you're not having to fight it, trying to hold it in place. So that's really nice as well. So anyway, that's been my review of this DeWalt 14 inch chop saw. I purchased this unit at Lowe's. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I paid for it with my own money. And I do like the saw quite a bit. I had an Evolution seven and a quarter inch saw. It is a uh, cold cut saw. 
and I liked it, but I went through blades quicker than I expected to, and this one is just a better overall saw for what I'm using it for. Um, if you guys are thinking of purchasing a saw like this, I would definitely recommend to do so. It's been a great saw for me. With the 14 inch blade, it can cut a lot of materials. I'll put some, some specs down in the description so you guys can see the, the max cutting on all different types of materials. And if you guys have any questions about the saw that uh, I could answer for you, just please drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching.